From soldiers to veterans to abuse and sexual assault victims, PTSD affects millions of people every day for many different reasons. Kevin Walker is a combat veteran from Junction City. He suffered a major injury in Iraq when he was hit by an IED in 2004. My platoon was out on a patrol and we went to a turnaround point, headed back. That's when my vehicle got hit with an IED. Had a one by one inch piece of shrapnel, came up through my window, hit me on my right side of my nose and behind my left eye and into my brain. The experience stays with him today. Loud noise, if I'm not prepared for it, scares me because it makes me think of an explosion. Ed Decock is a veteran from Topeka with PTSD, but he says his anxiety doesn't come from combat, but by being abused by those close to him. Basically, the only things uh, that my father ever really taught me was how to fight. Ed says years of abuse led him to a lifetime of alcohol and substance use, and eventually to a diagnosis of post-traumatic stress disorder. The primary symptoms of PTSD are re-experiencing, where you're experiencing the trauma again and again in the present, increased physiological arousal, where your body is kind of jacked up and, and keyed up, um, avoidance behaviors, anything to avoid thinking or feeling about the trauma, and shifts in a negative way about how you think and how you feel. It's a psychic injury. And it can take a long time even for symptoms to really play out. It can be years. Ed and Kevin are successfully working through their PTSD today after reaching out for help and talking about it. You can't change anything that happened. You just have to work through. Ed completed the seven-week stress disorder treatment unit program at Topeka's VA hospital. Coming out of it, a different person. His traumas had power over his life for so many years, and now he has regained some power in his own life and is able to live his life in the way that, that he deserves. I spent so many years that I wasted being angry and, and you know, uh, using drugs and alcohol and everything to cope and to, you know, try and deal with these demons that I had inside me, and now I don't have to do that anymore. I want to thank both Ed and Kevin for their service to our country. For more information on PTSD and current local health options, visit our website, ksnt.com, and click on this story under Health Check in the News tab. Brittany Moore, KSNT News.